What's good YouTube? We are back again with another NBA 2K24 build video. Now today we got the most toxic 1v1 point guard build that you may ever see ever. Okay, honestly, I'm not challenging this build. If, if I see it, I'm logging off and I think you should do the same. So today I'm pretty sure you're going to enjoy this. And if you do, then please make sure to smash a like on this video. Now, like all of my other build videos, if you enjoy this video and you know you like the build, then please make sure to leave a W down below in the comment section. Now, if you hate this build, go ahead and leave an L down below. I just wanna know how y'all feel about this, but let's go ahead and get straight into it. Now, of course, the first thing we have to focus on is our position. Point guard, okay? Enough said. Point guard, height. We are going 6'6". We, we are literally playing with a meta, okay? Six foot six, those taller guards, we need that. Six foot six for our weight. We wanted to have a good balance between strength and also speed. And I think we found it at the weight of a 228 pound point guard, all right? Here we go. And then for our wingspan, we went seven feet. So we got a seven foot wingspan and uh, yeah, this is pretty much all that you really need to be not only nasty when it comes to finishing around the rim, shooting, yes, this is going to be a good shooter. And on top of that, the defense ain't bad either, okay? Let's continue. Now, when it comes to setting up our attributes, like we, we gotta think about being toxic. Now, what? are the most toxic things that you can do for a build in NBA 2K24. And if you guessed rim running, you'd be right, okay? You'd be right. Our close shot is going to be a 58, or a 52, I'm sorry, 52 for our close shot here. Our driving layup is going to be a 72. So we're, we will be able to get it done around the rim and we're not done yet. Driving dunk, we're gonna go with an 87 driving dunk. Now, if you wanted to go OD with it, then that's completely on you. But an 87 is all that I truly need and what I feel comfortable with, like the bare minimum that I feel comfortable with when it comes to rim running just to get our takeover, okay? Rim running is OP in this game, we, we kinda all know. Besides rim running, of course, being a lockdown is OP as well. But rim running, that's what we doing, all right? Driving dunk in 87, our standing dunk is going to be a 60. After we do that, our uh, post control at the end of this video will be a 26. Now, when it comes to our shooting ability, because honestly, if you're a point guard and you can't shoot, I don't, I don't know about that. I, I, I wouldn't do that, okay? I wouldn't do that. Unless you got like a 99 ball handle and a 99 driving dunk, I wouldn't do that. Mid-range shot. We are going with a 71 for our mid-range shot. Now, this is, you know, you're still going to go crazy with the mid-range, but honestly, how many of y'all really be taking these mid-range shots, okay? A lot of y'all like to dribble and three hunt, like, and that's cool. This build is definitely going to be able to do that. Mid-range, we're going 71. For our three ball, we're going with an 86 three ball. Now this is going to unlock some of those cheesy jump shots that we're going to need to stay consistent. Now it's all about your base. You, you guys know the jumpers, like the higher your ratings, hopefully the easier for all you guys to shoot. Now, if you got a 99 three ball and you can't buy a three, something wrong with you, bro. That's all I'm going to say. Something wrong with you. For the free throw, we are going with a 61 free throw. We, we, we're not really looking for free throws because this is a 1v1. Like, you know, you could, you could probably take this somewhere else in ISO, but this is pretty much for like the theater type stuff. You know what I'm saying? 1v1, you, you, you're just going to get people up out the way. Pass accuracy, we went with a 62. Like, if, if you're playing 1v1, you're not passing to anybody. Like, come on now. 62 pass accuracy, and with those 
those attributes that we saved, here comes the problems. Ball handle, a 92. You shouldn't have any complaints when it comes to dribbling that ball. A 92 ball handle, and then with your speed with ball, we're going with an 83 speed with ball. Now, we gotta have a little bit of defense on this build. If we're playing 1v1, we're gonna have to guard something at the perimeter. And with this build, not only are you a problem from the perimeter defense aspect, but we also put some interior defense on this build. Now the interior, we got an 84 for our interior defense here. And then for our perimeter defense, we went with an 85. Now here, we went with a 45 steal. We're not really tripping too much. Our block, we went with a 68. I don't know about y'all, but my idea is that if we do happen to get beat, you know, some weird goofy stuff happened. It is NBA 2K24 at the end of the day. Goofy things do happen. Instead of putting our steal up and, you know, just committing a foul, maybe even an and one, we're going to put a 68 block on this build so we can at least get that bronze chase style artist and we'll still be in the play even if we get beat early you know what i mean so like if we get beat at the top like we can still run down and get a little you know we could pin the ball on that backboard that's my hopes that's my that's my thoughts behind this but a 68 block is going to give us that bronze chase down right there and then when it comes to uh really rebounding we ain't touching offensive rebound but our defensive rebound is going to be a 60 giving us that rebound chaser on bronze now when it comes to our physicals i told y'all we want speed we want strength and with this build we get a good mix of both for our speed on this build we're going within 80 six so yes we will have speed that is going to help us not only on offense but also on defense bro check out the acceleration because the acceleration is an 83 and that 83 is going to unlock pretty much gold and silver in this badge category for us so we get the gold blow by we get the gold speed booster the uh gold triple or triple strike like i don't know if y'all work out the triple threat i like to do it especially with the carmelo build that i made earlier I, I love it okay i love it but you also see we get fast feet on silver so we can hang with ball handlers we can defend i like that strength we went with an 84 strength the strength is important because look at the badges that we get, man. I told y'all I wanted to rim run. How you gonna rim run without bulldozer? We needed at least a silver bulldozer, but check out all of our other badges that we get. Post lockdown, that's gonna help us out if we going against other players that you know kind of wanna just back us in because they see we're a point guard. That's gonna help us out there. Immovable Enforcer is going to kind of boost our interior defense. And then Brick Wall, you, we, we really don't care about Brick Wall. But Box Out Beast, we can box out. We got the Fearless Finisher. We Silver Clamps, come on, bro. Come on, bro. This build is looking kind of crispy. Vertical, we needed to match the vert with our dunking ability so we can get those contact dunks. So we went with a bare minimum of a 75 for our vertical. Now, of course, that gets us the uh, poster on silver. And then with the rest, we went straight on stamina, giving us that 96 stamina. Now, when it's all said and done, this is exactly what your build should look like. We got the gold handles for days. We got the 94 feet. We got the workhorse. We got we got a whole bunch of stuff, actually, like physical handles, Hall of Fame. You know, we're going to be dribbling. We're going to be driving to the to the rim. We're going to be shooting like this is actually low key kind of nice. You, you still get defensive badges. You still get all the badges that you need for uh, playmaking. So when it comes to handling the ball, I mean, you're as good as you know, you can really be on this game, honestly. And then on top of that, to match everything, you got gold, silver, 
and then bronze limitless range bro so y'all let me know how y'all feel about this build down below in the comments give me a w or an l i, I think this build takes the w here I, I really do i really do but okay let's continue let's see what shades we share in nba 2k24 okay we see a little lonzo ball a uh, malcolm brogdon and then Cade cunningham nba 2k24 calls us a floor spacing slasher now this is probably by far one of the most meta builds or build names i should say because they can almost do everything like let's be for real they can do everything i've seen a whole bunch of different ways to make the floor spacing slasher so y'all let me know because i've seen i've seen this build i've seen two-way floor spacing slashers i've seen a lot of cool looking builds they can all shoot threes they can all rim run they can all handle the ball they can all play defense like it, it's actually pretty crazy but y'all let me know how y'all feel about this build and this video down below leave a like if you really enjoyed the video because it truly helps your boy grow i would really appreciate that all right and uh if you're new here and you want to keep up with your boy and all these builds and all these other videos on this channel then please make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring that bell so you guys will be notified for all of our future videos on this channel but thank you guys for watching and i will see you all in the next video